<laughs> it's too dark to see him, but up there I can see him. There's a song thrush singing away. He's moved his perch over towards the road. Well, he's moved back to his regular perch now. I'm doing the South Lake first this morning. I wanted to uh, have a look at this gold roost, but it would appear that the bulk of them go before it gets too light. There's only a few left now, which is a shame. It's still quite early, but uh, there's quite a few across there, so we may see a few. It's mostly Black-headed gulls and less of black-backed. Of course, it don't really matter what time of day I come down here. <laughs> the gulls are, they seem to see me, so I better have an apple. Well, this one's quite aggressive and dominant. Uh, I've had to break the apple core in half. So <laughs> this one can have a bit. <laughs> because the other one just bullies him. Well sadly most of the goals from the goal roost have uh, long gone. There's very little down here at all now. But, um, maybe the Cassandra might still be down there. We'll see. There's a few birds out across there, but I think they're black-headed gulls. With any luck, the Cassandra may well be around that corner. Oh, brilliant. I've just spotted a male to the right in that corner. So hopefully a few of the others are still be there. There's a heron up there too, and a few goals just leaving. I'm going to see if I can get a bit nearer without disturbing them. I've just seen a male down here. I'm going to show him it's still dark and dull. Oh, there goes the female. She was right in front of me, at the edge. There they are. It's the male and female. That was a very quiet song thrush. Huh?
We've got three potcher down here, I ain't seen these for a while. 